Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. Today's video is going to be a productive summer day in my life. I'm gonna take you guys along with me. If this is the first video that you're seeing of mine, I would really like if you would subscribe and follow my Instagram channels, I'll put them right here. So far I have gotten up, made my bed, showered, put some stuff on my face, my hair, blow dry my hair, all that jazz. So now I'm going to eat something real quick and then I have a call at 10 for a company that I would like to work with and then I have another call later today but in between that I'm going to do a shoot that I am freelancing for Mason Marcel. I'll take you guys along with me for a little bit of that but I'm gonna make a whole nother video just step by step of what I'm doing and how I do these freelance shoots. Let's go make some food and then I'm gonna prep for this interview. Let's go. breakfast looks so good I'm going to prep for my interview right now so oops so what I usually start to do is get out my notebook and let's see wow, I'm just popular today so for all of my interviews I've been just going through and writing the name of the person questions I have comments I want to make and then I write down their responses either on a separate piece of paper on the other side or lately what I've been doing, let's find it. I've been writing them in pink so that I can remember their responses. So I also only have one more page until I have to start a new notebook. So mm, that just goes to show how many interviews that we've been doing in quarantine and before quarantine and we still don't have a job. It's fine. I'm not complaining. So I'm just gonna prep for this interview while I enjoy my breakfast.
and I usually like to highlight their name because I've been having so many calls lately that like it is very easy to just slip and say the wrong name and if I'm forgetting their name I just see the one that's highlighted and right pink. Okay. I usually like to start by saying thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me and then I say I really appreciate it and I like to write down everything that I want to say on the paper that's in front of me even though like I've said it in the past like when you're on a call you sometimes don't remember what you really wanted to say it kind of just like slips your mind when they're talking you're talking but if you have it in front of you and you're like all right I need to talk about this I need to bring this up then it's easier obviously than just remembering off the top of your head even if calls are very similar to the last one, which almost every single call is, I like to write it down, like I said. And then I like to go back and see what I said on my last calls. It kind of just gives me like a better idea of what I want to say again and what I don't want to say again. Before going on the call with some of these professionals, I like to go on their LinkedIn and just look up some more about them. I usually like to find out where they went to school. That's a conversation starter. I like to write down a blurb about me, like a little bit about what I'm looking to do, what I've done, and I kind of can just say that off the top of my head because I know what I've done. But then more specifically, like if they have an open position, I like to write that down. Um, so I remember like the exact title of it and yeah it's good just to look at their experience to just have something to talk about because I mean you are on the phone with a complete stranger and it's gonna get awkward if you don't start conversation and then I like to look up the company that they're at I like to go on their website and see like especially for what I want to do I want to do something with the creative side digital marketing um, content creation and I like to see how they set up their Instagram their website any other social media pages and yeah, and I also like to have a glass of water. That is a must, so I need to go grab that before I get on the call. And then I like to double check and see if they were contacting me or if I was contacting them. Let's see. All right, so I'm calling him. I think I have a good amount written down. I definitely could have more, but he's kind of, I think, gonna do more of the talking on this one because we're talking about a position at his company. Got my water ready to go. All right guys, the call went well. Um, I think I'm gonna do freelance for them, which is awesome. Um, but for today's exciting part of the day, I'm going to begin doing the shoot that I had planned for today with Mason Marceau. I've worked with that company before doing the investor program and now I'm gonna do some freelance work for them. And I'm so excited, I love their products. Their little heart-shaped bottles are so cute. All right, setting an alarm for 1 p.m. because I have a call at 2 and I need to prep and eat lunch before that. Let's bring my coffee inside.
All right, guys, that was so long. This is the current state of my room right now. It is absolutely a mess, and we cleaned it earlier, so great, great. Tripod, <laughs> another tripod, extra lighting, which I don't know if that worked out so great. And now we have call number two today. I'm just so excited though. I think those turned out so good. I cannot wait to edit them. I also did a little extra video footage. Okay, this calls in 30 minutes. Let's go prep for it and move on with the rest of my day. I am prepping for, where is my notebook? Okay, prepping for my second and last call of the day. Sorry, my room is a mess in the background. This is my last sheet of paper. Starting it off with thank you. And also something really good after every single call, interview, whatever it is, is send a thank you. So I always highlight their name and then send thank you at the bottom. So when I'm reviewing my notes after the call, I know to send a thank you. And it should be done probably within the next 24 hours. I'd say even sooner than that. I usually like to do it right away. So then I do not forget. All right guys, I finished editing the pictures from today and I'm now going to the beach to take some more. This is what we're packing. what we're working with here. Sunset, and we are done. Ooh, oops. Reflection in the Jeep.
Alright guys, so now I'm going to take the pictures that I took at the beach and edit them on my laptop. It has been a full packed day. I think I'm going to end off the vlog here because I'm just going to be doing stuff on my laptop. So if you made it to this point in today's video, please comment down below. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on today's video. This is the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button down below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video.